Well, the quotation you're looking at, Italy without Sicily leaves no image in the soul. Here is the key to everything, end of quote. That was Goethe, 1787. This course reminds us of what, we, what once we knew, reminds us of the Sicily once known to every school child, the Sicily that gloried in two golden ages, was twice a turning point of Western civilization. I've lived in Sicily for the past 20 years, half a year each time, precisely because it is the best place to stand, to watch the parade of Western civilization, to survey our own story. For Demeter is us, Daedalus is us, Homer wrote about us, and we don't know who we are if we don't know our own story. We begin with mythic Sicily, Demeter and Persephone, uh, Homer's Odyssey, Atchis and Galatea, um, Scylla and Charybdis, Virgil's Aeneid. We'll learn how the Western Greeks became the wealthiest part of the ancient Greek world. We'll see Syracuse invent lawyers, an eagle drop a turtle on the head of Aeschylus, and Pedocles jump into the crater of Mount Etna. We'll see the finest Greek statuary in the world in existence in Sicily and watch the golden age of Western civilization sink into the bottom of Syracuse Harbor. But then we see the Western Greeks, not those back in Greece, first teach civilization to the Romans. The Romans, of course, to the Renaissance and the Renaissance to us. And the Romans, in thanks, curse them, curse Sicily into a sonambulance of an imposed slave economy. Then we watch her rise a millennium later under brilliant Arab and Norman civilization to a second golden age, helping to ignite the Renaissance and then fall into a second sonambulance under Spanish rule for half a millennium, sliding into poverty, despair and the self-defense of cancer of mafiosita attitudes. Being the central stepping stone of the world's most historic body of water made Sicily the most mythic, mistreated, majestic, and monster plagued, monster plagued place in the ancient world, alternatively glorious and tragic. But then again, those who love her are bringing her, like Persephone, out of the underworld. Italy without Sicily leaves no image in the soul. Here lies the key to everything. Goethe's point is that Sicily is the key to the glories of Rome and Sicily is the key to the Renaissance. Hers is a tale of monsters from Cyclops to Mussolini to Mafia Dons and heroes from Galatea to Garibaldi, from Plato to Pirandello, from Aeneas to Archimedes, and Pedocles to Caravaggio, Dido to Danilo Dolce, Frederick II to Giovanni Falcone, Odysseus to us. Thank you.